All right, back on the conversation. We got a great guest for you guys on a hot topic right now. Near attendance, should she be confirmed or not? The Biden administration is fighting their guts out, in the words of Biden's chief of staff, Ron Klain, for her. Uh, joining us now is Jeff Cohen. He's the co-founder of RootsAction.org, and they launched uh, NoHoneymoon.org. Uh, so you get the sense of what that's all about for the Biden administration. Uh, Jeff's a wonderful progressive. Uh, we actually might slightly disagree on the Tandon issue, so that's fun. Uh, but uh, but let's do it first. Jeff, I want people to know uh, why you don't want near Tandon confirmed. Uh, I could give you a lot of reasons. It, none of them have anything to do with mean tweets or name calling. That's the hypocritical Republican complaint. Our complaint is is simple. Uh, Neera Tandon has got these corporate conflicts of interest. She's one of the consummate fundraisers from big corporations. Uh, the Center for American Progress was funded by these big corporations to stand up and fight progressives to tell through the media, she's always on MSNBC and CNN, why Medicare for all is unworkable, unrealistic, not affordable. Why a $15 minimum wage is unworkable, not affordable. And you know, she's done the bidding of her donors. You know as well as me who the donors are. It's Wall Street, it's high tech, it's health insurance companies, it's Walmart. It's military contractors like Northrop Grumman and Lockheed Martin. So Neera Tandon has got conflicts of interest because the job at OMB, Office of Management and Budget Director, she oversees, she would oversee the regulatory processes of the whole federal government. So what's shocking to me, Jank, my final comment is that not a single Democrat in the Senate at these hearings has raised the issue of corporate conflict of interest. Instead, we've had all this crap about the nasty tweets from Republicans. Had this these hearings been in the US House, I wish the US House instead of the Senate were in charge of advice and consent for nominees coming out of the White House. Because members of the squad would have been pointing out all these conflicts of interest involving near a tandem. Well, I mean, Jeff, that's really the heart of the problem and the cancer in American government, which is that the corporate donors rule everything. And they rule everything so much that we're struggling to find one US senator who would question near attendant on the core issue of the corporate conflicts yeah. of interest, right? Yeah. And so you got to get lucky that Bernie's on a committee in order to get a question, right? right. Or maybe Warren, but you're going to max out pretty soon. And, and, and so, look, that's why just Democrats don't take corporate campaign money. That's the only uh, litmus test we had when we uh, found a just Democrats. And man, it's worked brilliantly, <laughs> I've gotta be honest, right? And that's why they're hot fighters. Look at what Ro Khanna did in organizing that letter on $15 minimum wage. Yep. So, uh, but but back to near attendance. So, unfortunately, people don't do nuance online, right? So, uh, I think there's one reason. Uh, to to confirm near Tandon, uh, people then assume, oh, Jenk likes near Tandon sports. No, I agree with everything Jeff is saying about the substance of near Tandon, hundred percent. Okay, I just want that to be absolutely clear. There's no question that that's her record. It's not a matter of agreement or disagreement. It's just a fact, right? That's what she has done. And so, but Jeff, I'm really concerned that if that the message that's going to be sent in Washington is never be critical of anyone in power. Remember what happened in Neera Tandon. See, they're not gonna learn the lesson because nobody even challenged her on the corporate stuff. They're not gonna learn the lesson of, hey, don't be mean to progressives or hey, don't sell out to corporations. They're never ever gonna learn that lesson. Instead, if Neera Tandon's nomination goes down, everyone in Washington is gonna say, that's it. Never criticize the US Senator because it'll end your career. Do you see why I'm really concerned about that precedent? Yeah, except that if progressives joined Roots Action and made more noise, we would be having real criticism of Neera Tandon getting into the debate. It's because of RootsAction.org and NoHoneymoon.org that that the other part of why, the more serious part of why Tandon should be opposed, the corporate corruption, the corporate conflicts of interest has been heard at all. 
And I'm one who believes that it's only when progressives make demands that we win anything out of the beltway. And and, and a good example is uh, Michelle Flournoy. I mean, Roots Action and Common and um, Code Pink, we were yelling when it looked like Michelle Flournoy was definitely, according to press reports, gonna be the Secretary of Defense. She's an ideological militarist. We yelled and screamed, some good reporters at the New York Times and Wall Street Journal dug up her conflicts of interest with military contractors. And instead, Team Biden chose General Lloyd Austin. He's not a peacenik. But he's not an ideological militarist like Michelle Flournoy. It's because Greenpeace and environmental groups yelled when it looked like Ernest Moniz from the Obama administration, who was so tied to nuclear power and oil and gas, it looked like he was gonna be in the cabinet and and Greenpeace and others were yelling. And it's because of that, that we have uh, now uh, former Governor Jennifer Granholm is the Secretary of Energy, and she supported Standing Rock protesters. So I could give you a list. Uh, it's only because we yelled and screamed about the real reasons, Jake. I agree with you. Republicans are hypocritical about tweets when they've apologized for Trump for five years. But there are real reasons to oppose a lot of Team Biden's nominees. And only if we oppose these nominees will we get anywhere. And Rahm Emanuel is coming up next. I mean, they want to put Rahm Emanuel as an ambassador and Roots Action will be in that fight against Rahm Emanuel, another guy whose whole career has been fighting the Democratic left. So Anna's gonna be super mad at me because (laughs) we had a debate about this and I still walked out thinking she should be confirmed on on principle, but you you swung me and so she'll be, Pretty furious about that, um, but anyway, it, Jeff, I, it's your point about us being louder in opposing her on the right stuff is yes. really good um, and and wins the day because if, if maybe if I if I had joined Bernie and obviously I couldn't do it on my own and and join you guys and the entire progressive movement joined together to say. We are not opposing Neera Tandon based on mean tweets. We are opposing her based on corporate conflicts of interest that maybe, just maybe, we could have gotten the press to pay attention to to that situation. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, we've tried to get other groups to speak out against Neera Tandon to join us. We feel a little bit isolated, which is why the discussion has been too much on mean tweets and not enough on the corporate conflicts of interest. But I mean, in my view, the key issue is what's the role of progressive activism? You know, in the 30s and the 1960s, which is when we had these big leaps forward, structural reforms, it's because independent progressive movements did not make their uh, strategy with the Democrats in the White House or the Democrats on Capitol Hill. They pushed and pushed and pushed. Now, we progressives worked our ass off to defeat Trump. Roots Action was active in Michigan, uh, in Wisconsin. We were active in Arizona. All the other grassroots activist groups uh, uh, defeated Trump in various states, especially Georgia. We have a right to make demands of the Biden administration. Personnel is policy. And it's scary to me that they've been unwilling to fight for $15 minimum wage unwilling to fight to get rid of the Jim Crow filibuster, unwilling to fight for student debt to be canceled in tens of thousands of dollars. But they're fighting for Neera Tandon. I mean, that's why, Jake, I think you're right that you, you know, <laughs> when the corporate Democrats are fighting for Neera Tandon, but not fighting for these others, forget about Republican hypocrisy. And let's talk about the real reasons, the corporate conflicts of interest that Tandon should be opposed on. So I, I want to ask you about that in a second. But I first, real quick set of facts. Uh, by the way, uh, we did a poll on should Neera Tandon be confirmed. I made a strong case that she should be based on the precedent I explained earlier. Apparently, not nearly strong enough. Over 1,500 votes, so a lot of people participated. 92 to eight, your position won, Jeff. So that was back when Anna and I debated. So I created this show, but the audience decides, 
right? Yeah. And 92% of them said, no, Cenk, you're wrong, Anna's right, and Jeff is right. So God bless, and yeah. so that's great. And look, we asked the audience to push Bernie and other legislators to include minimum wage in this COVID relief plan, yeah. and that worked. And so you guys at RootsAction.org have been doing amazing work on pushing the Biden administration. And a lot of that has worked. And I want the audience to just understand one thing that Jeff said. Getting Jennifer Granholm, who was a co-host of ours at Current TV, and is a person with good intent and has a decent track record, as opposed to the other candidate that was possible, is a giant win. Giant right. win. Right. So right. everybody owes RootsAction.org, a thank you note for that. And Green, no, Greenpeace, environmental groups. Look, uh, power concedes nothing without a demand. It never has, it never will. So what I'm liking is that progressives are saying, look, we put Biden in the White House. We defeated Trump. And if the Democrats are not gonna lose in 2022, as they did two years after President Bill Clinton took office, two years after Obama took office. They have to deliver for working class people, for people of color, for young activists and young voters. If they don't deliver, the Republicans will come storming back. So we're trying to protect team Biden from itself when we make these demands. Yeah, absolutely. Jeff Cohen from rootsaction.org. And everybody check out nohoneymoon.org to participate in all this. Thank you, Jeff, appreciate it. Thanks, Cenk, it's great to be with you, Cenk. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air, so all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.